Now let us discuss the compute mesh procedure. After setting all the volume mesh parameters as we discussed in the earlier slides, final step is to compute the mesh or create the mesh. Compute volume mesh option can be assessed by going to mesh, then compute mesh and then we go to compute volume mesh. Mesh method and mesh types can also be changed in the compute volume mesh tab. These figures show different options available in compute volume mesh tab depending on the mesh method selected. Most of the options are common and will be discussed in the next slide. First among the options is create prism layers. This option is available for all mesh methods. It creates prism layers as per the parameter specified after volume mesh is computed. If user enables this option, then intermediate volume mesh that is mesh without prism will not be saved and if some changes in prism are to be made, then volume mesh has to be created again. So we have to be careful with this create prism layers. Prism layers will be discussed in details in the next lecture of this series. The next option that we will discuss here is the create hexa core. This option is available only for octree and Delaunay method. This creates hexa core mesh but it is not recommended to use this option as hexa core mesh can be created by using merge tetra option available in edit mesh tab. Now we will discuss inputs that are required for creating volume mesh. Either geometry or surface mesh can be used as input for creating volume mesh. Input options available for Delaunay and AF schemes are same. So we will discuss them one by one. First is the geometry selection. We can select all geometry that is available for mesh creation. If we select existing mesh, only existing mesh is selected as input to create volume mesh. If we select part by part, this allows the user to select parts which are to be used as input for creating volume mesh. There is another option called from file that is .uns file. If surface mesh is already created, then it is saved as .uns file and this can be selected as input. This saves time as it is not necessary to open the surface mesh file to create volume mesh. Now let us discuss the inputs that are required for the octree method. Combination of geometry and surface mesh can be selected as input for octree method. Options available in geometry selection are all visible, part by part and from file. From file input option dot tin file can be selected as geometry input. Use existing mesh parts option allows user to select mesh parts which are to be selected as input for volume mesh.